<laughs> First of all, I would like to ask you, what is your mission here at the Barefoot College? Here at Barefoot, my mission is to, really from my personal mission, is to make the women feel comfortable, loved, you know, looked after in more of an emotional type of way, opposed to the physical. I'm here as a yoga teacher. Um, and the idea is to help them move their body, get them up and out of their chair. As you've seen, they spend a lot of time in a seated position. And a lot of them are coming from villages where they work every single day. So they go from moving their body to, sit, to being seated is hard. So initially it was, that was my role, but it's kind of opened up into a whole other area of um, their well-being on a more of a holistic approach, you know, sort of not spiritually, but just in s emotionally trying to support them through and and because I am with them a lot I do see these small periods where they are suffering or they're sad lonely angry they have a mixture of emotions and it just comes in waves so I guess I'm a mama to the solar mamas perhaps yeah. that's what I've ter it turns out to be yeah, yeah. yeah. which is great yeah. it's a great it fulfills it's fulfilling as well for me yeah. personally and a personal growth as well um, but it just helps them get through every day. Mm. It's a long haul, six months mm. without your family. Mm. 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 And what do, do they do here during the six months? Uh, they're learning how to become solar panel engineers, as you've seen in the classroom. Uh, so they spend all day starting from a blank um, circuit board and building until they create a lantern. And, um, and then that lantern, you know, it lights up their villages when they go home. So the sole purpose of them coming here is to learn that skill and then go home and make change to their own lives and many others. So they're being empowered and then they can go home and empower others. Mm. Mm. What do you think it means to their communities when they mm. come home and uh, they have a different role? And uh, mm. what does it mean to the community? Oh, many things because for some of them they've probably never seen a light, seen light, you know, in their village. Um, a better living, you know. Uh, I mean, if you think of it from, you know, we have our modern day life where we have our, mob our iPhones and mobiles and, you know, laptops and all that. And some of them don't have that, but then some of them do have those things. But they're living in these communities where they have to walk five hours to just charge a mobile phone. Whereas now they can, this is going to be just there in their lounge room. They can plug it into their lantern and, you know. So it's small things like that that will make a difference. But I think it, it actually brings hope to the community. It brings hope to the villagers because they can see that this person who they may have sat with every day or spoke to has gone over the seas and made massive change to their life. And so if that person can do it, then why can't I do it? Why can't my child do it? So it just, it opens a doorway that, you know, perhaps they would never have even thought about, I don't think. Yeah. yeah.